yourself up and welcome to a Stamping with Share video. I'm so glad you joined me today because we are going to make this gorgeous, gorgeous card. And it is a wedding card and it uses a new stamp set in the 2018 Occasions Catalogs called Petal Palette. It says best wishes on the outside. It's got the wonderful gold foil and when you open it up, it says some things are just meant to be like the two of you together. So this could be an anniversary card too, as well as a wedding card, and I just really like it. We are using paper from the Wood Texture 6x6 paper stack, and this is something you can find in our annual 2017-18 catalog. But let's look at the new. So the new on this card is the Petal Palette stamp set. It's a 2 case stamp set on one of the cases. You'll see that there's lots of words, a lot of sentiments. You can get a lot of different uses out of the stamp set. You could use it as thank you, best wishes, congratulations, a love card, a wedding card, um, just so many different things. And then there's sort of a watercolor look to the images. And you can see there's a little chickadee, some roses, some beautiful um, floral pieces. It's just gorgeous. And it also comes with some thinlets and so this can be purchased as a bundle where you save 10 percent and this is what the thinlets look like i've actually got one of them removed and on my big shot machine and i'll be showing you that in a minute so let's set this aside and get started recreating this card so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to need a card base this is chocolate chip it's four and a quarter by 11 inches and i've scored it at five and a half I'm just going to fold along the score line. I'll grab my bone folder and I'll just put a nice press here along the side. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp our inside panel. This is Whisper White. It's four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper here because I just wanna make sure that I'm not stamping on my mat where I could get my, my card into it. We have these lovely little dots. This is a red rubber stamp set and I've got some chocolate chip ink. So I'm just going to ink up these dots and I will stamp some here right along this bottom edge. And you can see there's a little peak on this right side and that's great because there's a place on this stamp that has sort of a little indentation. So if you just line that little peak up on the other side of the stamp and press down, you can't even tell where the stamp starts and ends. And I really love that. The next thing we're going to do is grab some Tuxedo Black ink, and I am going to ink up the sentiment for the inside panel. And that is right here. Let me stamp it for you. And it says, some things are just meant to be like the two of you together. That's just a perfect card. It can be either, again, wedding or anniversary. I just love the flexibility of this stamp set. Now I'm going to take some snail and just run a little bit along the back here and then we can put this on the inside panel of the card. And we'll add a little heart here in a little bit just to give the inside panel something that kind of matches to the outside panel, okay? The next thing we're going to need is just a scrap piece of Whisper White. And again, I'm going to bring my Tuxedo Black Memento ink into the picture. We're going to stamp these lovely roses right here on this scrap of Whisper White. Give that a good press. And then we are going to be coloring this. Now I did go ahead and start this. So let me bring in a different scrap where I was coloring. And I'm going to be using our Stampin' Up! Stampin' Blends. And so that is a fairly new product. It was introduced on December 1st. And these products come with an assortment of colors, but I will be using Old Olive in light and dark, and then also Cherry Cobbler in light and dark. And this is a very, very easy technique. You just take your lightest color of the two colors that are an option in each of the duos. So I'm going to take the lighter of the Cherry Cobbler and I am going to just completely color in this flower with the Cherry Cobbler. So let me go ahead and do that. And you only want to do one small area at a time. So there's one flower colored. Now I'm going to go in with the darker color and I'm just going to 
do a little bit of outlining here. And in a couple of seconds, this will just all blend together and look absolutely gorgeous. So let me show you how pretty that is. So there's the one side that I had done in advance, and then here's the side I just did. So I am going to repeat that now with this third rose. So again, I just take my lighter color of Cherry Cobbler. I'm just coloring the entire flower, just like so. And then I go in with the darker Cherry Cobbler, and I just do a little bit of outlining. And there's two sides to these pens. There's, there's more of a brush tip, and then there is more of a fine tip. And it's whatever you're most comfortable with using. Now I'm going to do the leaves. So again, the technique is going to be pretty much the same. I'm going to go in with the lighter color of the old olive. And I'll just do all of these really quickly. And then I take the darker color of Old Olive, and I'm going to go ahead and just accentuate where those lines are. So it only takes a couple seconds, and we have our flowers all colored. So let me again show this to you close up, and it's just so beautiful. So let's go ahead now and cut this out. And I did put one in my Big Shot machine in advance so we could save a little time. So this is the sandwich that I use in my Big Shot machine. I have my magnetic platform, my cut plate, and then I use the petals and more thinlets that come in the bundle. And I just cut out all of these roses and leaves. Wow, that saves a lot of time that I don't have to do the fussy cutting on that. And then I also used our Layering Hearts. This is our Sweet and Sassy set. And so I used the very smallest of the curved hearts and the second to the largest curved heart. So if you're counting one through seven, I use number one, that's the smallest heart, and number six, which is the second to the largest heart. And again, let me show you the cards. So I used one of the hearts on the outside and then one on the inside. And so let me pull this up. And my paper, in case you're wondering what size I used, it was three and a half inches square of our gold foil. So now we just need to put all of this onto our card. So let me move this out of the way. And I'll get the card front panel that we're working with. So again, this is our wood texture background paper. And this is four by five and a quarter. I just cut it down to fit the front of my card. And you can use either this side or this side, it's whichever side appeals to you. I think I'm going to use the darker side here because along the bottom it looks a little bit lighter. So I'm going to bring my Tuxedo Black Memento ink into the picture one more time. I'm going to grab the stamp that says Best Wishes. We'll ink that up and then we're going to stamp this right down here on the bottom right hand corner. Just like so. Then we can go ahead and add some copper trim. So I have that ready. And we're just going to put that right through the center of that panel. So I'm going to adhere that with a little bit of scotch tape. So let me pull that up. And then I will just take that around to the back side here. We'll secure that on one side and then we'll just bring it over and secure it on the other side. Let's bring our card base back into the picture and we can put this down with some multi-purpose liquid glue. So I've got the glue here and we're just going to do a little line all the way around the panel. And then we'll flip this over and we'll set this right here. And we'll just center that in. It looks really nice. So pretty. I love that textured background paper. All right, then we can go ahead and put our heart on, and we're going to use some dimensionals for that. And as you can see, I used four dimensionals on this gold foil heart. We're just going to set this so it's right in the very center of our card. Beautiful. Now we're going to just take this trio of roses, 
and we are going to put glue just on this one side here. And then we'll lay this down right here on the heart. We'll set this in so that it looks about like that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then to add the finishing touch on the front, I did go ahead and I created a bow in advance. And we can just put that on with a glue dot. So I've got that sitting on a glue dot and we'll set this right here, right where the heart and the ribbon meet here on the right side. So the front of our card is complete. Now we'll just add the finishing touch on the inside panel. And to do that, again, we'll add a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue to this smaller gold heart and set this in just like that. So our card is complete and it's just so gorgeous. So here's the one I've just done. Here's the one I had done in advance. Thank you so much for being a part of Stamping to Share today. I truly appreciate you. If you'd like to place a product order, be sure to visit my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com and I have links there for you to place orders in my online store. I truly appreciate you. Bye-bye.